Welcome back guys. Um, did a little bit update last time we saw moving these units here. Um, had some issues in the in the game, so I'm just gonna fire it up now and, and talk about that for a second. Um, yeah, so what we had last time was the uh, ship, if I select one, these these are just dummies here, they don't, they're not live, they're just tests. <laughs> what we had last time was, if I selected a ship, and I told it to move, it might flip sideways or suddenly do a quick spin and then carry on, and, and it pointed exactly at the target. Well, that doesn't look very ship-like. So we're going to send the ship, um, let's send him up there. We're going to take this ship and we're going to put him over there. And this one here, we're going to send over here. Now, it does still snap a little bit, and i got to work on that on the uh, short side of things, but we're going to play with this ship a little bit as it's moving, and I'm going to tell it to suddenly turn here. Now you see it's doing a nice smooth turn now, and that's because I've implemented a seek behavior that's aware of the length of the ship and the mass of the ship. There's still a little bit of an issue on when it first starts, but i got a way to get around that. But uh, we're going to send him over to the base here and as those little guys get where they're going something else i'm going to show here simply touching the tab key allows us to hop between the um there we go we can hop between the the ships and if you hit the h key for home that'll bring you right to the base so we can tab here and we're going to escape back Oop, i just saw a seam there i'm gonna to have to come back and correct that don't see that very often, but that means the under either that external pan or this pan is out by a tiny fraction. Um, so we're going to tell him to go right in there, which before would have been a huge problem, and it might still be a problem. But um, these little ships here are a little bit better at moving around the nav mesh because I've improved the nav mesh, but you'll also um, see that um, their handling is a fair bit better. So, for example, I should be able to tell this guy to come right down here. And it should figure out to come through here and around. Now, I'm just wondering if it's going to... Well, it almost tried to go back that way. So, he got into this very narrow area here. And I should be able to pull him down to here. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. It should... Yeah, he turned on a dime. Now, we're way up here, of course. And this is the way you're going to play the game most of the time. You're not going to be zoomed in on these ships too, too much. Um, you just need a little bit of color, but you need to see the color. Now, I imagine a lot of people might play just like this. And there they go. They're doing what they're supposed to. Now, there is some collision enabled. Um, if I can get over here and smack into this guy as he's coming in. We'll send him right up into that lagoon. I'm gonna try and get these two guys to have a mid-ocean collide, maybe. Nope. <laughs> but there is collision. They'll bounce off each other if they can. Um, I don't really have unit steering for, for group avoidance yet. All they are doing is using the built-in collision for for bumping into each other, for lack of a better term. But it's a little bit more um, control over them now. Again, I can set the mass and the max turning speed and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be able to tune it for the larger ship. Oh, that one got in there, no problem. The, um, yeah, that little quick spin though, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna get around that just yet. I might have to go in and put a factor like turning rate or something like that. But otherwise, uh, they're behaving as expected. And let's get right down in there. Next up is going to be making those deck guns do something more than just an animation. Um, because, you know, eventually we're going to want the stuff to shoot. Whoop. Yeah, let's zoom up just a little bit. Yeah, it caused a collision there, but for the most part, they're working. Anyhow, again, that's just a bit of an update and uh, where it's at now. 
Um, I also need to, for debugging, give myself the ability to play any player. So if I fire up a game with three or four players, I need to give myself the debug ability to take over a player. Just for testing. And then that way I can play all the sides, as it were. And uh, once we get that done, um, then I have to sew it back into the networking code. And then it's possible once we get the fighting and, and the networking code and that done, it might actually be possible to uh, have a little battle. Like, over the net. Anyhow, uh, if you find this interesting, that's great. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Uh, you never quite know coding-wise or project-wise what I might be working on next. Mostly it'll be code, I imagine, right now, especially with a game like this on the go. Um, but, uh, yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if uh, you feel the need. <laughs> and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.